Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about street photography. And I'm going to post another photo today. And, you know, sometimes when you go out and you don't get a lot of results that are worthy of your gallery, that's okay. I usually try to find at least one thing that catches my eye that I hope I can bring home from a street photography expedition, but at the same time, at least I'm getting exercise if nothing happens. But on this one day, a couple of weeks ago in Boulder, I'm walking along and, you know, of all the things I photograph, I'm looking for things that connect to me. Like, why would I photograph that? If there's somebody standing over talking on their phone, so? There's a photo in my gallery of a woman standing, I think she may have been looking at her phone or she was reading something, but it wasn't that she was on her phone that made me interested in her. And you can see it in my gallery, Colorado Faces, but what, it made, what, it, what caught my eye was she was dressed in a, a pale green slicker with a white collar standing next to a fire hydrant that was painted the exact same color of green with a white top. And it looked like they were dressed in coordination. And it was, for me, a little bit funny. So the photograph today that I'm going to post is also one of those kinds of moments. It's just a photograph of a woman walking her dog. Well, so what? But you'll see in the photograph why that photograph caught my eye and why I was glad I was able to capture it without interrupting it. I'm shooting with the X100T around my neck, just walking along, and I kind of know what the frame is as I walk. I know I have to make sure my wrist hurts a little bit because that means it's not tilted down. And those are little tricks that, you know, you start to learn and you start to get familiar with. And for me, not a great, great shot, but it's a fun shot because it's a little moment. And it says something because it has maybe one little element of surprise. And to me, that's what good street photography is. It has a little story. It's like, what is in this frame that is drawing me in that's a little different than just somebody walking? And to me, story trumps everything else. Trump, our story is like what matters in a photograph. And technique is important, but story comes first. And if it's a perfectly exposed, composed photograph, but it has no story, I want to toss it out. And I kind of want to toss out photographs that are good stories, but they're a little bit technically poor. They're out of focus. I don't have much time for that unless it's so good that I really think that the world needs to see it. But I try to really keep my standards to in focus, well done, good story. And those are my criteria. So go to Colorado Faces, you'll see my street photography portfolio. And those are photographs that I think have, you know, worked and I cull things from there. I pull things out that don't work after some time. I think, why is that even in there? Because how many do you need to make a great gallery? You need as many that are your best. And good editing makes good photographers. So, all right, I'll put a link to that photograph. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. And if you can support me in any way, please hit the Patreon link. Even a buck or two a, day, a month helps a lot. Thanks so much.